Hi, uh, today we have uh, Jenny Hills to uh, share with us uh, some views on um, government officials. Okay, you, the, your questions? Uh, sure. We were talking earlier about government neutrality yeah. um, and how government officials have a certain place um, and, and the duties that they have and what kind of happens when those people cross a line um, and, and what's to be done about that, basically. So I'm just wondering, uh, you know, in terms of uh, neutrality, how neutral do you think that government officials should be? Okay. To me, government if officials work for people because we pay our taxes and basically they receive salaries from the tax, right? Which is from the people in general and businesses and um, or our foreign investments, right? But um, if government officials are working for a certain party, then that shouldn't be right. And recently, I've been observing uh, the politics here in Taiwan, and someone is crossing that line, basically, uh, very obviously. And uh, she has been condemned for that reason, because she uh, should be uh, working in economics and how to uh, set up goals for uh, the nation uh, policies and she should be working for um, the country not a certain party okay and I think you probably read the paper and watched news uh, you have something to say about this <coughs> Um, yes, I mean, yeah, I definitely read the paper. It's been in the paper for weeks and weeks now about um, this person and, and what they have done uh, and their leanings towards specific uh, parties. Um, I think in Canada it, it's similar sometimes. Um, not really with government officials, but more like business people or something like that might come out and say something. but those people aren't obligated to, they, they don't have a duty to serve, you know, other people or the entire nation. So it's a little bit um, of a different scenario. Do you uh, think that it would be, you know, different if, sh if this person came out and said, I'm just saying this personally, I'm not saying it, you know, um, as the you know government official I'm just saying it personally or do you think it would be exactly the same you see she has two roles one as a person a human being and as a woman right that's one role as a human being and the other is she is serving our country as a government official and I don't understand why she is demonizing the other party with this basically they call it a scandal when actually a bunch of scientists were working to make this AIDS medicine work and sell internationally and um, I, I just don't understand because everything is legal and if you think there is something cheap um, sneaky about it you should have the investigators and mm -hmm. right the law you know um, you shouldn't be like talking to using the media to influence the candidacy is that how you say it yeah, yeah? and actually I read today that it, a lot of people kind of feel like well I guess it's about half um, kind of feel like this is uh, 
not a good thing. What it was meant to do was to draw attention negatively to a specific party and to make another party seem better. And in fact, what's happened is it's backfired. Right. And now the people who were kind of swing voting, um, those people are now thinking, oh, well, we don't want to be, you know, in with these people. They're letting government officials tell us our business uh, sort of thing. But um, at the same time, this person comes back again and says more remarks, you know. What do you have to uh, say about that? Well, the, you see, the, um, our pre president candidate, uh, candidate uh, Tsai um, has been saying uh, many times that uh, she has been used and the uh, um, ruling party now is basically using her to uh, smear uh, the the DPP, the Democratic uh, Progressive Party, and um, what I'm so what I'm so angry about is that she is receiving salary from us, and she's working for what the ruling party. That that's that's. What I don't understand, because there are so many cases, if she wants to examine every case, like deliberately, she should be examining every case, not this specific case. And uh, there are uh, polls um, in regards to this specific case that uh, even the uh, ruling party supporters are actually thinking this is a scandal, right, itself. I mean, she doing this, you know, accusing uh, Tsai. Yeah. Right, I guess uh, she should never run for office because <laughs> <laughs> she'll lose. <laughs> um, but, you know, do you think that it would be better for her if she kind of came back and instead of continually going with the same thing, maybe did some investigation about the other party that might help the other party to you know recover a little bit. Well, the ruling party now has uh, f uh, three fourths of the seats in the legislation, and it's um, it's very unlikely that she's going to have the power to uh, reverse the whole situation. Uh, I think she's going to be silenced and wait until the election is over, or she's going to be, you know, <laughs> coming up with more rumors and all that. And I think what's sad about this is I, um, on my own Facebook page, I commented that I feel pretty sad for her because she's got a doctorate. She's supposed to have a great future as a scholar or you know, whatever role she's going to play, but she's ruining her career, basically, and um, reputation. And um, I think it's not worth it. Uh, I totally feel pretty sad for her, you know, later life. And also the fact that, you know, it's kind of, unbelievable that somebody who is supposed to be so impartial is just going to speak up and, and you know, say things like this. Do you think that it would have been a better in initial reaction for um, the, the ruling party just to let her go? I think whatever they want to do or uh, she would be doing doesn't matter to me. Um, at this point because I think many people see what this really is about and um, but at the same time people don't know where our energies are wasted on this total <laughs> bullshit I would say it's a little bit like a gossip factory. It just goes around and around and around. And each day you pick up the newspaper and there's something new. Oh, there she is in the newspaper again saying this, you know, and that. And um, it, it just seems like at this point it's kind of time for her to stop. You know what I mean? Uh, she said enough. Obviously, people are not happy with what she said. And um, I, I think that 
you know, she would be better just to kind of retreat a little bit and try to save what was left, you know, that hasn't been damaged um, and try to move, move forward. You see, a lot of things are going to pass. The election is going to pass. And uh, if, the, if our world doesn't come to an end, like the apocalypse, <laughs> right? Well, you know, the global warming and all that. I mean, it's going to be written in history. And who would want to have a bad name in history? Right. Right? So. I mean, who will want to hire her? She doesn't work for somebody else, you know. Every time they hear her name, she goes into any place. It's going to be the same. Oh. Well, she could be a financial consultant and whatever. She's going to, you know, people are forgetful anyway, right? But still. I mean, she could be having a great future while she's doing this, and she's supposed to be old enough and wise enough, and she's setting a bad example for everybody, I think, yeah. So I have nothing else to say except uh, feeling angry and um, um, it's our nation's future that I worry about, actually. Uh, our um, our children, uh, the young people that are learning from this and maybe thinking that they can do this in the future, you know, and then where is justice, right? Sure, yeah, uh, I completely agree and, and I feel bad for her um, in a way, but I mean, she's kind of bringing it on herself at the same time, um, uh, a little bit. I would say so, but because we're adults, we should take responsibilities, but at the same time, sometimes the government or the you know a party that are so powerful, rich, can do so many things. You know, I can imagine that she is actually pretty scared. Yeah. Okay. So, um, good luck for her then. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs>